Greetings, everyone. This is Steam Team Read WK, CC Trainer Ling, and I'm back to bring you another episode review from the Loud House Road Trip Arc. So let's get right into it. Today's road trip episode is from Brad to Worse. In this episode, the family meets Rita's old boyfriend, Brad Plaid, at the Southwest State Fair, and Lynn Sr. tries to outdo him at everything when he assumes Brad is trying to get back together with Rita. There's really not a lot I can say about this one other than it was the typical conflict where a main character tries to sabotage the credibility of their significant and others' ex when they believe there might be some leftover romantic feelings between them. That's basically all Lynn Sr. does in this episode when he meets Brad Plaid, a well-known country singer who used to be Rita's old flame from childhood. He tries to impress both him and his family by knocking down bottles in a carnival game, country western dancing, and even cooking. As expected, Brad not only thoroughly puts Lynn to shame by outdoing him at everything with no effort, including Lynn's natural talent of cooking, but the rest of the louds are more impressed with Rita's ex than they are with their own dad. Then we come to the part of the story where even Lincoln starts to believe Brad might be up to no good after he and his dad eavesdrop on Brad talking about reserving a seat on his private jet for Rita. So the two of them dress up as rodeo clowns and sneak off to sabotage Brad's performance. They do this by hiding his horse and tricking Brad into riding an angry bull without his glasses, knowing full well he can't see anything without them. Then Lynn steps in to save the day after it's revealed the Rita Brad was talking about earlier was actually his horse. I have to say, this was a rather unique reveal because the story wanted you to believe Brad was not only writing songs about his old girlfriend, but how he also named his horse after the future Mrs. Loud as well. It turned out the songs were actually about his horse, who he named after his granny, Margarita. Or narrowly, I would question why Brad would drop the first five letters of Margarita instead of just using the full name, but I guess Margarita doesn't sound like a country-style name for a horse. But either way, Lynn had nothing to worry about and apologized for putting Brad's life in danger. All is forgiven, and Brad invites Lynn to play the cowbell during his concert. The cowbell being something Brad hasn't been able to master. I guess in a technical sense, Lynn still got one over on Brad by showcasing his talent as a cowbell player, although in reality, that's not really saying a whole lot. So at least he gets a small victory for something. The only major highlight in my book was the Rita Likes Pita song Brad plays towards the end. It may have been short, and it may have been from a music genre I don't personally care for, but it's a fine little country tune, and I can appreciate it for what it was. I also found this weird animation error with the judge during the cook-off where he drawn with eyelashes in a few frames. I don't know what that was all about, and I'm not going to ask. Overall, this road trip episode is pretty much on the same level as bringing down the house. It had its little moments, and nothing truly awful happens at any point, but it doesn't do anything to make a big impact or make itself stand out. It's just a very basic story about a jealous character thinking a popular figure is going to interfere with his marriage, and then tries to make that person look foolish only for their attempts to backfire in comedic fashion. Lin Sr. definitely had his funny moments, and he was willing to get attacked by a bull to rescue Brad, so at least he faced some punishment for his misdeeds despite his reasonably good intentions in the beginning. Brad was an okay character, his song at the end was fine, and the twist revelation about the name Rita was pretty clever. With that said, I give From Brad to Worse a 7 out of 10. Well folks, that concludes my review of From Brad to Worse. So I gotta ask, what did you guys think of this episode? Sound off in the comments below, and be sure to click that subscribe button for more Loud House related content. That's going to do it for me, I'll catch you guys for the next video, but until then, this is Steam Team Read WK, CC Trainer Ling, signing off. Peace out, home slices.